these UFO swarms are just getting weirder and more bizarre and the connections. So in 1952, there were reports by thousands of UFOs flying over the Capitol for 17 days. That's the same amount of days that these drones flew over Langley at the end of last year, 17 days. Is there a connection there? Oh yeah, and just a few days ago, there's a munitions and research facility, military facility in New Jersey that had drones mysteriously fly over in swarms. One witness said they saw five drones. Another witness said they saw 12 large drones. And there's some video footage of one of the alleged drones. But I think this is different, folks. I think that's a little sleight of hand here. Now, can't confirm that. I'm going to share with you these reports. I've got 26 different links that we're referencing from here. So a lot of news, a lot of different sources. And buckle up, Buttercup, because here we go. All right. November 18th, 2024, multiple unauthorized drones were reported flying over the U.S. Army's Picatinny Arsenal and surrounding areas in Morris County, New Jersey. This incident had sparked significant concern among local residents and security experts alike. Military response and official statements. Picatinny Arsenal spokesman Timothy Ryder confirmed the incident, stating, we received reports of what were believed to be drones flying over Picatinny Arsenal, in addition to other locations in Morris County on the evening of November 18, 2024. The facility, which houses the Joint Center of Excellence for Guns and Ammunition and other critical armament development organizations, was quick to clarify that no authorized UAV operators or operations were conducting or conducted that evening. Nanu nanu. Do you want to protect yourself from potentially harmful EMF radiation? If you do, Check out tinfoilcap.co. We have EMF protection from head to toe, literally. So whether you want to purchase a hat or you want to purchase a Faraday cage for your phone or you want to purchase an EMF blocker for your driver's license and credit cards, this is called a snood. This will go around your entire head. You can actually wear it kind of like a beanie, but it'll go over your neck and it'll leave your eyes open if you want it to. You can pull it down below your nose or below your mouth. So these are called EMF snoods. They're all on sale right now. We are the original. The testimonies are amazing. I just talked to somebody the other day that sleeps every night with one of these liners. This is a liner that you can actually take out of the hat. Um, I'll give you an example. If you want to just wear a regular hat and you want to put the EMF blocking liner in the hat, this is it. This has two different types of fabrics. So not only will it block the lower frequencies, but the higher frequencies like 5G is an example. Now, if you want to purchase a hat, all hats include a liner. So every hat you purchase includes a liner. You can get carbon fiber hats. You can get custom made hats, or you can just purchase one of the um, the basic hats with the liner built in. All the liners are the same quality. Now the snoods are on sale as well. Everything's on sale at tinfoilcap.co. You definitely want to check out the Faraday cages. We've only got a few of these left, so take advantage of this. This is a Faraday cage for your phone. If you put your phone in here, you will not be able to receive a signal. So do not expect a phone call if you put your phone in here. There's no way. We've tested all of our products also with technologies that will um, monitor the amount of EMF frequencies and the type of EMF frequencies. And we can absolutely verify that the, the, the EMF liners will block radiation. Read the testimonials, get yours, get the discount. Go to tinfoilcap.co for EMF protection from head to toe. All right, let's get back to the presentation right now. The scale of the incident, the drone activity reported through social media and witness accounts suggest a substantial operation. Initial reports indicated at least five large drones in operation, with some witnesses claiming to have seen them up to 12 drones flying in formation. The activity reported continues for over two hours with multiple jurisdictions reporting simultaneous sightings across the region. Now, there's coordinated investigation efforts right now. The Morris County Prosecutor's Office has issued a joint statement announcing a comprehensive investigation that brings together numerous agencies. The collaborative effort includes the Morris County Sheriff's Office, the County Office of Emergency Management, local municipal police departments, and both federal and state law enforcement partners. The Morris County Prosecutor's Office, Morris County Sheriff's Office, Morris County Office of Emergency Management, Morris County Municipal Police Departments 
along with our federal and state law enforcement partners, are aware of the activity and will continue to coordinate, monitor, and investigate the drone activity, officials stated in their release. Real-time response and tracking as the situation unfolded, New Jersey State Police deployed aviation units to track the mysterious aircraft, while an Army Black Hawk helicopter was dispatched for aerial surveillance. The New Jersey Fire Alert X account reported drones flying from Somerset County border northward and back as local law enforcement established monitoring positions throughout the affected area. Now there's conflicting official assessments. The investigation has produced some contradictory findings from various agencies. The Federal Aviation Administration's assessment contradicted initial reports stating they looked into reports and did not find evidence of drone activity in the area. However, the Morris County Prosecutor's Office confirmed the officers on patrol observed drone activity, though they emphasized there was no known threat to public safety, adding another perspective. Dover Police Department Sergeant Boris Sanchez noted that as of Tuesday afternoon, his agency has not received any reports about drones flying in the area last night or early this morning. There's historical parallels and patterns, which is what I think is very interesting. My friend Robert, and he records this just bizarre activity out in California. Uh, sometimes they look like bugs, and then sometimes the the K band goes off when he films these things. So I don't know how a bug would cause a K band to go off on radar, but whatever these things are, very bizarre. He calls them dragonflies. Well, he's the one that shared with me this connection. So thank you, Robert. His his name's Custodian File on YouTube. If you want to subscribe to his channel, check out. He's got tons of footage. But he gets great footage of military craft and helicopters flying in California right off the water. Got a beautiful house there with a great view, really cool camera equipment. And sometimes it appears that these things shoot out of the water, tag the, the helicopter or the aircraft, and then shoot back into the water. Very interesting. But anyway, thank you, Robert, for sending me this, this parallel, this link here, because I did some research. And this is even readily available on military websites and other various websites. I have I've s- several links I can share with you. 17 days over Langley, right? They call them drones. They don't really say what they look like. They say they're about 20 feet in length. They don't give us much detail. So they say they're about 20 feet in length. Well, listen to this. A striking resemblance to previous events involving unidentified aerial phenomena over sensitive military installations, notably... December 2023, we've got Langley in Virginia experienced a series of mysterious drone incursions over a 17-day period. U.S. Air Force General Mark Kelly personally observed these drones, estimating them to be approximately 20 feet in length, flying at speeds over 100 miles an hour, altitudes between three and 4,000 feet, and despite extensive monitoring, the origin and purpose of these drones remain unknown. The incidents raised significant security concerns, especially given Langley's role in a hub for advanced military aircraft, including F-22 Raptors. Similarly, this is where it gets very interesting. This is the connection that Robert shared with me. In 1952, Washington, D.C., there was a series of UFO incidents involving unidentified flying objects, reports from July 12th to July 29th, 1952, over Washington, D.C. The most publicized sightings took place on consecutive weekends, July 19th and 20th, July 26th and 27th at 11.40 p.m. Saturday, July 19th, 1952, Edward Nugent, an air traffic controller at Washington National Airport, noticed some odd blips on his radar screen. These sightings led to widespread public and media interest, as well as official investigations. The recurrence of such events over a span of decades raises question, and it was 17 days, folks. These things flew over the, the Capitol for 17 days back in 1952. 72 years ago. Would have been 71 years ago and some change because it was at the end of 2023. So there might be some numerological connection there that we can put together possibly, or you can help me out with that. That'd be great. Actually do the math. 17 days at Langley, 17 days over Washington, D.C. in 1952. They came back 71 years later, which is mirroring 17, 1771. 
What's the significance? I'm deeply alarmed by the reporting of, of the massive drone swarm that flew over Langley Air Force Base in Virginia last December. Reports of this incident indicate these drones were roughly 20 feet long, flying more than 100 miles an hour at an altitude of over 3,000 feet. Langley Air Force Base did experience incursions of unauthorized unmanned aerial systems last year in December 2023. Um, the recurrence of such events over a span of decades raises questions about potential patterns of connections between these incidents. The fact that both the Langley and Washington, D.C. incidents involved prolonged periods of unexplained aerial activity over critical military sites suggests a need for further investigation into possible links or common factors. Now, this unauthorized drone activity over Picatinny Arsenal has raised significant concerns about security over sensitive military installations as well. The coordinated response from multiple agencies underscores the seriousness of the incident. As investigations continue, authorities aim to determine the origin and intent of these drones to prevent future unauthorized incursions. The similarities to past events highlight the importance of understanding and addressing the challenges posed by unidentified aerial phenomena. Wow. So we've got, just to give you some links here as reference, Enterprise Technology, News and Analysis, Military History Wiki, Stars and Stripes, The Hill, Law Enforcement Today, Enterprise Technology, News and Analysis, Wavy, Global News, Newsweek, DroneXL.co, Interesting Engineering, Washington Examiner, Washingtonian, Online Star Register, National Archives Museum, History Channel, WRAL, Wikipedia, How Stuff Works, Travel Channel, Wall Street Journal. So, yeah. Now, I must say, when you when they 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 keep calling them drones, and I saw some video footage of one of the alleged drones that was captured over New Jersey, and it was just a bunch of flashing lights, and it looked like something that you would see. A human being manufacturer doesn't look like anything alien. And I'm not necessarily sure this is what these drones are that these these people are referring to. I'm starting to question at certain times now, so not to raise alarms and too much in the media, you just call them drones. Oh, yeah, they're drones. They're, you know, about 20 feet length. But maybe there's certain code for these drones that are actually unidentified aerial phenomena. But instead of calling them UAPs or UFOs, they're calling them drones so as not to alarm the public. And then they could send that information through certain media channels, kind of on the download a little bit. People are like, ah, oh, they're just drones, no big deal. But somebody asked a great question the other day in the chat. Awesome question. I just thought to myself, yeah, that's why I love doing these podcasts and having so many great people out there that, that are just on the ball. You know, they're like, well, what about this? What about that? First of all, if these things are 20 feet in length or 20 feet in diameter, or whatever, where are they going? And what kind of range do they have? Because when you research how far certain craft and missiles and projectiles can go before they need to be refueled, like if these things are from China or Russia or from overseas, if they are, and I'm not sure that they are, but if they are, where are they going? They're not giving us that information. And you would think they would have eyes in the sky that could track these things. They've got satellites well above 3,000 feet that could track these things, you would think. So what aren't they telling us? It'd be really interesting if we could see some footage of where these things are actually going, what they look like. Uh, I'd like to hear more about these eyewitness reports of people seeing five to possibly 12 of these drones at once flying in tandem together. Um, let's go to Drone XL well put together article here the facility the picatinny arsenal spokesman timothy Ryder confirmed the incident stating we received reports of what were believed to be drones flying over picatinny arsenal in addition to other locations in morris county on the evening of november 18 2024 so multiple locations folks the facility houses the joint center of excellence for guns and ammunition and other critical armament development organizations it was quick to clarify that no authorized UAV operators were conducted that evening. The scale of the incident, social media and witness accounts suggest a substantial operation 
Initial reports indicated at least five large drones in operation, some witnesses claiming to have seen up to 12 drones flying in formation. The activity reported reportedly continued over two hours with multiple jurisdictions reporting simultaneous sightings across the region. As the simulation unfolded, the situation unfolded. Was that a Freudian slip? As the situation unfolded, New Jersey State Police deployed aviation units to track the mysterious aircraft, while an Army Black Hawk helicopter was dispatched for aerial surveillance. Now, approximately 25 miles north of Picatinny Arsenal, authorized unmanned aircraft operations were ongoing to combat a forest fire along the New Jersey-New York border. New York State Police spokesman Bew Duffy provided clarity on the involvement, stating, New York State Police is the only agency authorized to operate unmanned aerial systems on the New York State side of the wildfire. We don't have any evidence that our UAS have crossed into New Jersey. If this is all artificial intelligence, and it's just gathering intel and collecting recon on, on response times, what happens when, when they fly over the base? How long are they followed? Are they able to keep up with them? What is, do they tell the public? What is the public response? This is a, you know, th there's so many different forms of intelligence you can gather in an operation like this. And so if it is a foreign adversary, and I really doubt it's ours, unless they're doing some type, unless they're doing like, you know, full on deniability in some compartmentalized program or project to see, you know, like, um, to see how strong their own security is, to see how strong and, and what response they're like, well, you know, maybe we do it first before they do it over there on the other side of the fence over there. I just don't know. And I'm not convinced of that. Now, there could be certain defense projects outside of the military industrial complex that are like contracted out. And there could be certain projects going on to see what kind of response times, et cetera. Uh, it's very possible, but I don't know how plausible. And I don't know what the end game would be for that reason. And I don't necessarily think it would be, you know, th there's this, there's a lot of theories as to next move at certain levels um, kind of makes you think of like James Bond films where you've got the, the villains and then you've got James Bond that saves the day, right? You know, metaphorically speaking. So like, what if there was something like that with an alien invasion, like Von Braun talked about? The last card would be the alien card, the fake alien invasion. So 70 years later, 80 years later, people still think that there's going to be this card played where there's going to be a fake alien invasion to, to bring in some like new system of control. And I mean, it may be, but most likely ETs have been here since we have. Maybe different ETs show up at different times because it's a pretty big universe. But it seems like there's something that Well, that, that's philosophically, you know, we'll, we'll get into that deep side of things later. But the biggest concern that I have is if this is a foreign adversary that's gathering intel on all of these sensitive sites, once it gets all the data that it needs and all the intelligence that it needs, you know, why, why is it gathering this intel? That's the question we should be asking. Why? Why do you want all this intel? Like, if you're not going to do anything, you're just like, well, you know, I just, I just want to know what's going on, man. I'm kind of voyeuristic. You know, I've got these, I've got these fleet of 20 foot drones and I just want to, I just want to watch. I just want to see. I just want to know what you've got there. You know, that's all. It's totally innocent. I'm not buying it. Like, there, there's been so many different locations. And then you might say, well, you know, what if it's, what if it's an extraterrestrial species that's just showing their superiority and, and how they could leave at will and watch at will and, and turn on and off these silos at will, um, you know, show us their technological superiority. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really buying that either. No, I, I don't, I don't think this is good folks. I mean, this is, The next move could be very, could have very serious consequences. 
So I don't know what measures are going to be put in play to prevent bees from observing our facilities. If they are extraterrestrial in origin or from some breakaway civilization where the technology is far superior to what we have, then clearly there's not much we can do unless we figure something else out. Um, but if, if they are terrestrial craft and they're reconning our facilities, they're doing it because they want to know the response times. They want to know what we're going to do and they want to know everything that's there. They want to know it's because clearly if they could cause problems at one location, and then if we have to send equipment or focus at that focus on that place, they could have strategic locations surrounded outside of that. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into whole like strategy and, and stuff, but there's just I want to thank the person that left a comment in the comment section about the New Jersey incident because I didn't see this in the media and I was doing some research. So thank you. If you've got any data about what's going on, if you've got any photos or videos of these drones, like what they look like, let's see it. Let's see what these 20 foot drones look like and hit the bell for all notifications. Thank you for watching. Be excellent to each other and be the change you want to see. Hack, hack.